When you breathe in, know that you're breathing in. When you breathe out, know you're breathing out. For the time being, that's all you need to know. That and the question of whether it's comfortable or not. If it's not comfortable, you can change. The Buddha taught that if you believe that everything you experience is the result of some outside force or some past force, you're bewildered, you're left unprotected. But if you believe that you can make a change here in the present moment by your decisions, then that becomes your protection. You learn how to make good decisions. It's not always easy to make a good decision, which is one of the reasons why the Buddha has you meditate, to strengthen the mind. Start out with the conviction that your mind is powerful. It can make a difference. And then just stick with that. Try your best to develop skillful qualities in the mind and to abandon unskillful qualities. Now for that, you're going to need some mindfulness to remind, remind yourself of what is skillful and what's unskillful and what tricks your unskillful qualities may have, so you have to watch out for them. It's this way that you get the mind into concentration. The concentration is the real strength, and as is the discernment that comes with the concentration. When you see things clearly going on, and also see clearly what decisions you have to make, which ones are skillful, which ones are not. And when you have the strength of concentration, then it's a lot easier to stick with the skillful ones. It's a sad thing when they say that people with the strongest moral sense are those who are about 11 or 12 years old, and then it wears down the rest of people's lives. People learn to compromise, people learn to make shortcut decisions, cut corners. And they keep telling themselves, well, you have to do that, you have to do that. We have the Buddha who says, no, you don't have to. You can stick with what's right all the way through. Maintain your moral sense all the way through. It's in this way, when you meditate and strengthen the mind so that you can be firm in your goodness, that your meditation is not a simple exercise in stress reduction. It's not your own issue. It's how your issues impact the world and helps you create a good impact. So as you're meditating, remind yourself you're doing this not for, just for yourself, but for everybody else. Because you shape the world that you experience by your actions, and it's going to have an impact on other people's experience as well. So if you can do things skillfully, other people will benefit. The teachings of the Buddha show ways in which you can be beneficial all around. You don't have to cut corners. You don't have to do one unskillful thing claiming that it's going to be skillful. Because if you start doing that, then your moral sense just starts wearing away. So trying to make sure your sense of what's right and what's wrong stays clear, and you stick by it, and use the techniques and the approaches of meditation to help you stick with it. That way you stay strong.